All right, welcome to the back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate, CyborgPirate.com. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Cyborg underscore Pirate. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and introduction of the SJC Cam C200, which is a lower cost version of a action cam. This has been a great little uh, camera from the reviews that I've read so far. We are going to be doing a comparison with the Hero 810 and also the Hero, the Hero 810, excuse me, the Hero 8 and the Hero 10, excuse me. Um, where I think this camera is going to fit in for us is going to be the, the fact that at night it has a lot better dark resolution than some of the GoPros do. And so for the, our diving purposes, this is going to be um, what I believe to be a fantastic camera for us. Um, so let's get into unboxing it. Little uh, spoiler alert, I did open it already and uh, just to make sure that it works and to check out some SD cards and we'll get into that here in just a minute. So as we open it up, we can see we're going to take the camera, we're going to set it aside for a second because that way we don't have to come back to it. We'll just talk about it one time. But you have a nice little boxing, camera fits in there, instructions, and we have our accessories case. So in this box here with the accessories, now keep in mind this is a nice little budget camera at right around $130. Um, this is their newest version that's out, the C200. So we have our roll cage, and we have our clip hat clip on. Um, I can open these up if you'd like, and we'll do that real here real quick. So this is going to be your nice little hat clip. It's on the camera. Roll cage. Your USB to C, which is nice, cable. Lens clean. A couple of different mounts that also work with any of the action camera mounts or the GoPro mounts that you're familiar with and a couple of nice little adhesive strips to help stick all of these accessories on there. Now let's get these out of the way. Let's get to the important part. Let's get to the camera itself. So the camera, as it comes, it comes in a nice waterproof case for you already. And this is rated down to 100 meters. Excuse me, not 100 meters. This is rated down to 40 meters, which is going to be roughly 150 feet for you. So the nice part is this little thing right here, this will work uh, well for you all the way down to that um, in comparison to the GoPros remember GoPro you're gonna spend right around it, well let's, let's if you go with the GoPro 10 you're gonna spend $399 for that camera right now and then you have to spend an additional $50 for the uh, waterproof case and the protective case and it does come with a couple of accessories like the hat mount the cable the mounts but it does not come with the roll cage, things like that. So those are all additional costs that you're going to have. This little budget camera is coming to you nicely at right around $120, um, $130. And it comes with all these accessories, which is nice. One thing that I did notice that I didn't like, and remember I told you I'd opened it before, I had ordered one previous to this, and I struggled a little bit with it in getting it to recognize the SD card. Well, the SD card, come to find out, the nice extreme SD cards that I'm used to from running with the drones and the GoPros, this little guy does not like those particular extreme cards. What it likes, and the maximum card you can use in this is 128 gigabyte, which I have on order is the SanDisk, let me turn this so you can read it, the SanDisk Micro SD HC. So it's not the extreme card. So I was getting a card error. I sent the first camera back because I thought something was wrong with the camera. It turns out it was not the camera. It was the SD card itself. So sent that back. Then I ended up finding out that these, that's the little um, SD card that I actually use in my 3d printer and um it works great with that so nice little three button uh controls you have it is wi-fi connected you can control it from your phone which as you can see i am taking a look at that right now using my phone and i'm controlling the camera and looking at 
um, some of the footage that we're doing here. So nice push buttons that are here on the GoPro, or not the GoPro case, but the, the uh, water protective case for it. Fits in there nicely. It weighs in at a nice little, with the uh, with the waterproof case, it's weighing in at about half what the GoPro 10 does. A um, couple of things about it here real quick. The GoPro 10 and any of the other GoPros, they have a, a battery that comes out and is removable. This battery, however, is not. It's built in. So good thing with that is you don't carry extra batteries. Bad thing about it is is, is if you have to charge the, the camera, you're without a camera while you're charging it. That is one thing that's a downfall with it but again we'll be doing some some comparisons with the um hyper smooth and the stabilization with this camera which i will tell you right now it already i already know it does not as perform do, does not perform as well as gopro does on the stabilization however using it in a diving application which is what we plan to use it for a diving application uh, where the stabilization is not needed as much because uh, we try to stay a little bit smoother in our dives, things like that. This camera is going to do very well. Also here diving at the lake where we dive in darker areas, this nighttime uh, stabilization and the nighttime um, view with this is phenomenal from what I've seen from the reviews. So we're going to test that out and check it. Now keep in mind we are going out of town this weekend, so we're going to put this on the Razor. We're going to get a good comparison with the GoPro Hero 8, the GoPro Hero 10, the GoPro Hero 5 in comparison with this one with their stabilization as we're out on the Razor. So stay, stay tuned for that. Thanks for chime, uh, tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you like our content. And uh, Cyborg out.